Welcome to part five of the Runabout USS Ganges build-up. I've been making some really good progress on the uh, rear cabin. We've got the uh, window panels in place now. Sorry, the lighting panels in place now uh, for the rear. So we've got the top one there. Again, you can see the, um, the black paint coming through there. And that's just really where the um, micro crystal clear glue is set. That's had uh, two coats of uh, matte varnish on both sides. And then we've also done the same to the inside as well. So we've both, we've got two coats of uh, matte varnish on both sides of those little window, uh, <coughs> sorry, lighting panels. So if I just get the torch and shine it on there, you can see there that uh, that's got a nice glow to it coming through. It's not sort of in your face bright. So by the time we've got the warm um, LEDs in there, and added a resistor to those, that'll bring that tone right down again. But I'm quite happy with uh, the way that that looks. Let me just uh, turn my torch off. <clears throat> I keep on forgetting to turn that off and burn through batteries like there's no tomorrow. So I like to make sure I switched it off. Um, we've also got there uh, the replicator put onto the wall. I've basically mounted that onto a small strip of styrene as well, just to get it off of the wall because uh, it looked uh, a little bit 2D otherwise so I just thought I'd try and sort of bring a little bit of extra dimension to it and then on this side, not sure whether you're going to see it too well but we've got the uh, computer panel put in on that side we've also got the rear bulkhead um, installed and we've also got the bunk beds put in as well so that's really finished now, That's uh, that's looking good we have had um, a bit of a problem uh, trying to get the uh, the roof section uh, flush with the rear section. And one of the things that I did have to do was, uh, as you can most probably see there, remove a lot of the resin because I found that the, uh, the radiator uh, on this part here was not fitting on this part here it was just butting up against it and there was uh, uh, about a four mil gap at, at the base there and the whole thing just wouldn't shut so i've had to sand that down one of the other things i noticed as well was the fact that this poor chap's head was beating up against the uh, the bulkhead uh, around there when he was at the window which is a bit of a shame so I've had to move his position to back there um, which is a bit of a shame but you still can see him if I just put that on there like so um, you can still see him uh, in the rear cabin there so it's a little bit dark so if I just um, shine the light through there you go you can still see him there um, that he's just not in the same place but he still looks good standing there like that so the rear cabin um, is now finished which is great that's uh, that signed off and that's just sitting in the box um, until it's <coughs> ready to be, uh, until it's ready to go the cockpit floor um, I've now got uh, the uh, three of the chairs installed and uh, also the weapons console all that's left to go in there at the moment is uh, the little man on his chair. So that's uh, that's what he's looking like at the moment. If he can uh, stand still. So it might be uh, easier to hold him like that for you. So there you go, that's uh, what he's looking like. Um, I'm not going to install him until such time that I've got the rest of the work done to uh, the roof. 
at the moment because I want to be able to get in position properly and I also need to get this installed as well that's the uh, the center console um, that does need to be glued to I'm not sure whether you're going to see that there let's have a look yeah it's a bit too uh, a bit too dark at the moment but the console there will need to be um, installed right behind this brace there so I don't want to actually get that installed until such time that I've got that on the base but I can uh, I can level that up as soon as that's on there and that won't be a problem um, I'm still working on the um, the the bulkhead door if you remember that's uh, how it was before but I've been working basically on installing the uh, the wires for the SMDs and all I did was I just uh, cut a channel out on both sides ran the SMD three so the uh, the lights will just shine through there uh, and then glued those into place with a bit of super glue and then I put some plasti strut over the top of those and then went back over those again with some uh, squadron putty to help fill in the gaps and then sanded it down so that's now at the painting stage as soon as that's uh, been finished painting I'll be able to install the uh, little bits of glass on the back uh, sorry the uh, little bits of glass on the front there and then I'll be able to install that into the cabin and as soon as I got that bit done I'll be able to finalize the pilot and the center console and then that's really the only jobs that's uh, left to do on that bit apart from the uh, the lights in the uh, the cabin I just need to get those in place and once those are in place and all the, the, the little bits of uh, um, sorry the uh, the little bits of uh, plastic sprue that I've used to recreate the lights once they're in place then this will be also uh, completely finished so there's not much to go on this now so as soon as I've got the, uh, the rest of the work completed um, I will come back to you with another update back with you for uh, what is the final update now on the uh, interior kit I've managed to uh, take this now as far as it would go I've got the lighting uh, in the front section sorted out uh, all, the little, uh, all the little cabin lights are done just got the, uh, the main lighting to do on the tops but that won't be done until such time that the, uh, the, uh, the resin kit is ready to go into the model but uh, the lighting on the inside now is looking quite good. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just quickly turn the lights out for you so we can uh, take a look. And uh, hopefully you can start to see uh, a nice little bit of a steady glow in there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just take you off the camera. I'm just going to move the, uh, the box around. It's connected to a battery still. Um, so the power is a little bit dodgy still at the moment but I'll just take you off the stand and then hopefully we can uh, get you in for a bit of a closer look on the inside and as you can see there we've got some of the interior lights in um, let me just pan around the cockpit a little bit there you just need to get in at weird angles to actually have a look so that's looking pretty good and then if we come around the side to the window that's there there you go you can actually start to see some of the uh, the detailing as well through the window and then if we come in through the other window uh, if we can find it where is it there it is okay so there you go you can see some of the other de detailing in there too so that's actually starting to look uh, quite good. So that's the uh, the front end, and as you can see on the top there, you've got a bit of a glow coming through. So it's definitely starting to look good. I'll uh, just get you uh, back on the stand. That's it. Right, okay, it's still a bit dark, so I'll just have to get the lights back on. And then <clears throat> what we do is we turn this around. 
um, so we can get a shot of the back end of the model for you. I uh, just need to uh, quickly connect the uh, the battery up to this one. So if you bear with me a second, guys, just, uh, just take a second to get this sorted out. Just need to. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, the batteries uh, are a little bit fiddly, and I'm actually just uh, using uh, a, a strip of uh, three LEDs at the moment to show you this. But uh, it's taking a bit of time. The kit itself, the resin kit hasn't been perfect if I'm to be honest um, but then you know I think that should be expected from uh, from garage resin kits I fact to uh, as you most probably saw some of you on the uh, the update on the uh, the uh, sci-fi addiction forum um, I hacked to basically uh, grind the heck out the uh, the bottom of the uh, or sorry the top of the uh, the cockpit area uh, it was let me just move that forward a bit it was <clears throat> quite horrendous fit issues on that just need to get the uh, some uh, the Tamiya paints on top of that actually just to hold that in place so that's about it Let's just get that battery a little bit closer. There we go. So that should be okay. I just get the uh, the lights turned out, and then hopefully, if we uh, can get this positioned at the right angle, we should hopefully be able to see. Now, again, you know, this is just with uh, a strip of three LED tape. It's it needs more than that to help light up the inside, but it does give you. So let me just uh, zoom out again. There you go. It does give you uh, a, a general idea of what that's going to look like. I know the uh, the camera work is a little bit unsteady, unfortunately. There. So that's what that's looking like. And then if we just uh, come around to the other window on the other side, there you go. You can. Uh, almost feel like a voyeur at the moment peeking in at him so there you go so that's what that's looking like and hopefully you can see the uh, the replicator on the wall just there which is great and then on the other side uh, it's kind of hidden from view a little bit but we do have the uh, the computer on the other side and as you can see you've got the table in there and the chairs so that's actually looking quite cool at the moment I'll just get you back on the um, on the tripod That'll be fine. Okay, so that's going to be about uh, that's going to be about it for this update, guys. Uh, let me just. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong way. So there you go. So that's going to be uh, about it for the moment, guys. On this kit, um, I'm going to put the resin kit to bed now. Um, carefully stow it so it doesn't get broken. And then I'm just going to crack on with the uh, the kit itself. I'm going to start on the warp nacelles and also the uh, the wings as well for each side, and uh, build it up from that end. So that's about it, guys. I'll come back to you uh, with a little bit of progress on the on the nacelles as soon as I got some. Uh, welcome back for an update. Now the resin kit has uh, finally <laughs> been squared away. Uh, it's time to focus the attention on the model kit. Uh, so I've decided to start on the warp nacelles and the corresponding wings. Now as you can most probably remember from uh, part one of this uh, series where I've done the review on this kit, you'll remember that uh, there's a lot of gaps um, around, well not so sorry, not gaps, but the seams don't meet and all the parts are way out of shape with each other. Uh, and even these bits in here are sort of way out as well and there, there is in the plastic there sort of big steps and it's pretty much well the same uh, down the back end as well so this is uh, what one of them is looking like now I do believe this is the starboard one 
So basically what I've done is I've just gone in with uh, various tools. I've used uh, my uh, little square, uh, sorry, my little triangle um, file just to get in at the right angles for these bits. So I can just get in there and get the corners in properly. And also to help square up these sides and this side here as well. So that worked out quite good. Um, <clears throat> I also used my uh, my flat file just to go in on these edges to bring those into line. And I've also followed that up uh, with my 320 sanding stick. Uh, and then I also went in with some uh, 800 uh, sandpaper just to smooth everything off. Now that's really really smooth now. There are a few imperfections in the paintwork, uh, sorry, in the uh, the plastic, but that's okay. By the time that's all putted and sanded, you you won't notice that. Uh, and again, the back end uh, of this is now all smooth as well. So if I just bring the other one back for a second, you'll be able to see uh, the difference in the two. Um, there is just a, a massive difference in those two now. The other thing that I've done with this one is I've also drilled out the holes uh, for the navigation lights. So that's done now. The ones that I'm using, obviously this is for the port side rather than the uh, starboard side. Um, but these are what I believe, I think they're called the straw hat ones. So it's just really basically the very tip of those that's going to be poking through uh, those holes there and also that one on that side so that's good um, we don't want too much of the LED actually poking up through the hole so I just need to get this one squared off now and get the uh, get all the seams on that looking uh, looking nice and tidy and then once they're done I'll start on their corresponding wings as well so that would pretty much will go like that and that would attach itself uh, to I do believe this is no nope, sorry that's the um, starboard side so they would pretty much will go on there like so so it does actually because the connector for this is right on the edge that does leave me uh, enough room on this side here to be able to get the LED strip in to light the nacelles um, and I might even be able to use the same strip of LEDs to get in to light the, uh, the bizarre scoop as well but on these ones, there's not too much work that needs to be done, to be fair. Um, all I need to do is cut out the holes uh, on this part here, so I can uh, light the, uh, the impulse engine intake. And then also on the back side, I need to remove the plastic there so we can light up the uh, impulse exhaust. The only other things that will need to be done to this is all around the edges, once that's all glued in place, I'm just going to need to go around with some putty uh, just to fill those gaps up. They are quite horrendous. So I'll be able to do those. And then all of the wires for this uh, will uh, come out of this point here. Somewhere along here. I'm not quite sure where yet, but they will come out around there. There's enough room on the inside. So all I need to do is get that uh, all those details sorted out. And the other thing that I need to I'll be able to do on this is in between all these little panels, I'll just be able to go in with a, a fine marker or a, uh, a pencil just to darken those off so you can actually see the panel lines on those properly. And hopefully that'll look pretty good. So I just need to do that on both of those um, and that'll be done. So there's no real major work on these, which is good news. So... I carry on and um, I will come back to you in the next video uh, to show you the progress on these parts of the kit. So until then, thanks for watching and please do take care.